Hi there. Let's take a look at the concept of data mining, which is very closely linked with the idea of big data. And data mining is the sort of next stage after big data is being collected. It's the process of analysing that data, so try and find a way of turning raw data into information, something that a business can use, for example, by discovering some relationships between the data or spotting a trend. So, as you might imagine, if data mining is effective, there are lots of potential business benefits. And that's why increasingly data mining is being seen as a key business competence. You may spot some relationships within, between data that may allow you to predict either the continuation of a trend or spotting new trends as they emerge, or perhaps changing behaviours of your customer base. You might also be able to generate some uh, business actions, some actionable uh, lists, insights, for example, around marketing, simply by mining the data effectively. So let's just spot a, two or three examples of, of how data mining is used in practice. You might be able to guess some of these based around our description of what data mining is all about. Sales forecasting, we've talked about identifying relationships between data sets. If you've got one data set that has a very close relationship with another, you may be able to use that to then forecast what happens to predict. Uh, just spotting one down here, uh, absolutely key one there, market segmentation. As we'll see in a second, data mining has really helped businesses become much more efficient and effective at segmenting, at breaking down their markets into smaller groups, which enables them to, to target them more effectively, perhaps also to, to position a product more effectively. So data mining has had a, a massive impact on the effectiveness and ease with which you, you can segment markets based around uh, bases such as age, uh, occupation, gender. And we also see minute by minute data mining of e-commerce. What we put into our shopping carts is being mined in real time by the businesses that we are considering buying from as they look to see what we're adding, whether we check out, why we didn't check out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, E-commerce basket analysis is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an industry in itself as a great example of data mining. Just to pick out a couple of examples of data mining in action, the one that's often referred to as the, uh, not necessarily the start of data mining, but certainly one of the best early examples, is the Tesco Club Card. Tesco, uh, the market-leading supermarket retailer in the UK, at the time when it introduced its loyalty card program based around a, a magnetic stripe smart card at the checkout, this was revolutionary for the UK retail market because what it immediately gave it was data into what people were buying and when. And therefore, it was able to use that data using a, a market research business called Dunhumby to predict what customers might want in the future and to start to understand in greater detail the, the customer's profile. And here's another lovely example of data mining in action, albeit not necessarily in great circumstances. Walmart, another of the world's leading supermarket uh, groups, multinationals, use data mining and as part of that discovered that when there is a hurricane or a hurricane predicted, sales of strawberry pop tarts increase significantly by seven times, presumably uh, as, a, as, a, as a precautionary food item to have in that's, that's easy to heat and eat. So since they've made that discovery, apparently they place strawberry pop tarts at the checkouts as an impulse purchase prior to any hurricane that's been warned about. Another little example, but showing the power of data mining. So there we go. Hopefully that's been a useful introduction to the concept of data mining.